Hey, what's up? I'm Brandon America. And if you guys want to know how to take a song that sounds like this I see sunshine. and go to this I see sunshine. and make it sound like that, I see sunshine. stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? I'm Brandon America, and thanks for tuning in to another Logic Lesson. Today, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to take a whole session and speed it up or slow it down. Now, if all you have is MIDI, that's fine. It'll automatically speed up and slow down with your tempo changes. But if you have audio, then you need to go through a couple different steps. And there is one other quick way to try a few things. So stay tuned towards the end. I'm going to show you that one. It's called Very Speed. But real quick, First thing we need to do is make sure that our flex pitch and flex time button is turned on, which is this little bow tie. You can come up here, click it, or you can hit command F. That's the quick key for it. And you'll notice over to the left in the channel strips on the audio tracks, you have this little bow tie looking button. Now, in order for us to speed the entire session up, we need all of our audio tracks to be engaged with the flex time. As soon as you click on this, you see it's actually analyzing the audio and it's gonna allow us to change it up. Same thing with this bass comp. Let's come down here. Okay, we wanna make sure that all of these are also turned on. Okay, cool, we're ready to go. So now with all those on, what we can do is change it from 144. Let's give you a quick listen of what it sounds like at uh, 144. Cruising 75. I see sunshine in my rear view. Starry night. The truth. Okay, cool. So that's at the tempo of 144, right? So let's change that to, let's say 154. And let's see what that does, right? Boom. Okay, here we go. Cruising 75. I see sunshine in my rear view. Okay, so I feel like that's a little bit fast. You know, we went up 10 hole uh, BPM, but let's say you really just wanted to tweak it from 144 to say 146 and give it a little extra feel. Cruising 75. I see sunshine in my rear view. Starry nights. So we sped it up just ever so slightly. There's another way though that you can change everything and do some really wild stuff with uh the the timing of your session here so this is like the pro tip i was going to tell you about thanks for sticking to the end here so we can show you so all you have to do is come up to the top right click on this big open area and select customize control bar and display all right so what we're looking for is this tool right here which is called very speed and in order to get to it we have to actually click where it says beats and project come all the way down to custom select it now it gives us access to these different uh you know tools in, in logic here so we're going to select very speed and you'll notice right here now it's the speed only if i take it away boom if i click it again you'll see it pops up right there so we just hit okay now what this will allow us to do is speed the entire track up we've already got our tempo set to 146 we can actually take this and just drag it up so now we're now we've went up 20 percent of the original tempo so let's see how that sounds Painting the truth to good and bad that we've been through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Who knows where we'll end up. Okay, so a whole lot of craziness, right? Well, that's just only speeding everything up. Now you can also select where it says speed only, come down here to very speed, which is gonna change the speed and the pitch. So let's check that out. I, I see sunshine in my rear view. Sorry <laughs> nights, painting the truth to good and bad. Okay, and you might ask, well, what's this useful for? So, you know, for instance, maybe you're doing a remix to an old song that you can get your hands on the audio. Maybe you want to remix your own song, um, speed something up and put it into like say EDM, a pop, you know, track, whatever. You just want to remix this thing. So you could take this now, export it at this speed, or you could just take the vocals, take just the instrumental, um, little pieces that you've already built in here. Now, another option is to change the very speed and the MIDI. So what it'll do is actually speed up and pitch up the MIDI along with all the other tracks in here. Okay, so if you were ever around a record player back in the day and you could speed that record up, it would make every record sound like the chipmunks were singing it. And that's kind of what it reminds me of. And so you can, you know, right now we're speeding this thing up. You can actually slow it down, not 50%. Let's slow it down 10% from the original. I, I see sunshine in my rear view. Starry nights, painting the truth to good and bad. And we've been through. 
see sunshine in my rear view. Starry nights, painting the truth to the good and bad that we've been through. Ooh, 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 ooh. So you can see how extremely different this can go. You know, you can use it to slow down and chop up some vocals, you know, screw them like they do a lot in hip hop. Um, you know, you can just really get creative with this particular feature. There's more videos like this coming. I've got more out already. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. You know, hit the notification bell. So each time I drop a new video, you guys can be up to date. If you have any more tips for me in the community, you know, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. Uh, any questions, I'd be happy to get back with you and, you know, do a video on it. So again, I'm Brandon America. Thanks for being with your boy today. So until next time, peace and love.